Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> so this is your uh, general love reading for um, codependency, okay, this is your general love reading for uh, uh, June, I forgot just there, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and uh, just feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well just see what challenges you guys are going through um feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys it is time stamped this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera so if you click in the description bar below see where it says start reading click on that and that will bring you to the uh start of the reading and like i said this section is really for those that just kind of pick these up Kind of prefer to see me shuffle on a camera. There we go. Okay, as I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your uh, story, stick around as sometimes there could be messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to uh, support you and move you in the direction of where, whoops, of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we, we create our own reality. Okay, so give me a moment to just finish laying these cards and I'll be back. Just gonna take these in and I'll be back. So Pisces, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. I'm picking up as this being your side, person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always just flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, and of, of course you can see there's extra cards there as well, just because I needed to clarify a few of these cards. Also, if this isn't your story, check out, feel free to check out your other readings for the month, which should be pinned in the corner. All right. So the, the centre card, what we're dealing with is codependency. So we've got addictions are affecting your, your romantic love life. So that could show up as, you know, being codependent on a relationship. Um, but also it could be codependent on outside sources like, you know, shopping, money, uh, addiction, like gambling, drinking, drugs, that type of thing as well. For you, just looking at the past, we're touching on the past. I like to kind of touch on the past, just get an idea of where we're coming from. For you, this is something that you know you need to end with that 10 of swords there. But just the thought of it is just this painful idea of ending this. You know, there's definitely insight that you do get with that high priestess there. Definitely get downloads, definitely, you know, your intuition is saying this is something that you should end, but you're finding it quite difficult. You know, just the idea of it, the thought of ending this and what it would be like and what's life like afterwards, that alone in itself is just not a comfortable feeling for you. You know, there is this deep feeling of loss with that as well, with the five, with the five of cups there. So definitely a situation that you, you know, didn't want to end. And your person, your person is, we've got the seven of swords there, which is a very sneaky type of sword, uh, card. You know, this is a sneaky type of thinking. We've got the seven of cups on top of that. So that's, I feel like this type of person have, has options. If that's what they're dealing with, maybe other people that they tend to talk to or flirt with or whatever the case may be. Or this could be simply just something that they are keeping hidden from you. Even though you kind of know there's a degree of you knowing around this, hence why you know you need to end it. But still, it's like they're not being honest about it. They're keeping it from you. They're not being, you know, if you've attempted to approach this person about a conversation regarding just honesty around something, they're just not, not you know, being honest about that. It's like they're turning their back on, on, it's not even so much, how do I put that? It's not turning their back on, it, it's like they're turning their back on you but not in that way where they kind of forget you or you're not in the picture, but it seems like whatever it is that they're being sneaky about is more enticing or more in, 
uh, yeah, more hmm, enticing. Yes, yeah, some maybe, but the, there's a choice to kind of look uh, hmm, the other way because they feel like we've got that king of pentacles that brings about some level of happiness. So for instance, if this person has some form of addiction or problem with gambling, for instance, there's a pull, that pull towards that is more so than yours. Now they're fully aware of the impact that it's having on this emotionally, but it's like they can't help it. It's like this, there's, there's a, hmm, uh, the idea of that is more enticing. Let's say that. Which brings us to where we are at the moment. Like I said, you're definitely dealing with the challenging aspects of leaving this because there is this strong emotional bond that you do have with this person showing up as the two. So you've not managed to leave this at the moment as it were, you know, based on where it stands at the moment. You've not managed to leave this because there is that strong emotional bond. And this person seems to be happy regarding that. It's like, okay, they get to engage with you and still have this relationship but also get to engage with this other thing as well so they it gives them level come on Priscilla it gives them this level of having what they want getting what they want yeah not wanting to deal with with the two of swords they're not wanting to deal with what they should be really focusing on and dealing with, which is the impact it's having on this relationship than with and, and with you. It's not to say this person doesn't have love for you, because they do. We have the Ace of Swords, sorry, the Ace of Cups there, but they're just not wanting to deal with it. Because again, they're caught up in this other thing as well. Not to say they want to lose you, because they don't. Now, yeah, you might have this strong emotional connection with this person, but it's also creating, you staying here is creating hurt, it's creating heartbreak, it's creating pain for you. It's not putting you in a good emotional space being here, remaining here. If I'm honest with you, Pisces, with that Four of Cups as well, there's disappointment. There's disappointment in this person, disappointment in just how things are, where things are. Yeah. Per, per, I feel like this person has gone too far down the road. And I say that because you've given them enough chances. It's like when someone sees that you're not able to leave a situation quite like this. One second. 